evening folks okay so we're now going to take a look at the um, layer weight note so I've got a little scene set up here for you um, I'm just having a plane there a little longer see my screen cast on as well okay so you can just scale that out a bit and We've got a few notes set up here. So here's the layer weight note. Now it works very much the same as the Fresnel note. Um, as you see, it's got a Fresnel output, um, which is pretty much equivalent to the IOR and factor um, output straight out. So get rid of that. Okay. Um, so if we have a look at, just using the mix shader there, um, this is pretty much exactly what it does. Um, it's, it's kind of like using a mix shader with a Fresnel, but it's all in one node. So the layer weight node outputs a weight typically used for layering shaders with the mix shader node. So that's what we're going to use it with here, is the mix shader. So you have blend, which is blend between the first and second shader, which is exactly what the mix shader does. And then you have your normal, let me just put that in a bit. Um, input meant for plugging in bump or normal maps, which will affect the output. So I haven't created any bump maps at the moment, like, but um, I suppose we could have a little try at that. Um, it has no individual properties except for um, the, well, that's the FAC, that's for that one, sorry. Um, except for the, bl the blend, that's all it has. Um, your output is the Fresnel, so that's the um, dielectric Fresnel weight, useful for example for layering diffuse and glossy shaders to create a plastic material. This is like a Fresnel node, except that the input of this node is in the often more convenient 0.0, .0 to 1.0 range. So it literally is one down. It, it, it's one colour or pretty much the other. There's, it's quite hard to get the in-between, but we will and then you have your facing which is weight that blends from the first to the second shade as the surface goes from facing the viewer to viewing it as viewing it at a grazing angle so basically i don't know if you've ever seen one of those cars where it looks kind of purple and then as it's going around the corner and depending on where the sun is actually bouncing off it it kind of changes color as it goes around so that's pretty much what this does. Um, now I haven't really got the facing to work that much at the moment, but um, yeah, we'll go for it. Okay, so we can do. Um, let me bring that Fresnel back actually. If you okay, so we have our two diffuse. Try and give myself a little bit more space there. Let me see how okay. And let's take that into rendered. Okay, so at the moment it's got a factor between both of them um, from these diffusers. So if I do um personal to IOR and factor into factor here. We're just then controlling this by the layer weight. So as you can see, just as the Fresnel does, it gives you front and back. Now, depending on which way it goes to you, is um, from the light, is how the shading is set. So there's no shading, on, there's no light underneath, but there's light on the top. Which is pretty cool. Okay, so then how about if we were to whoops cut that out? Cut that out. Um, actually we'll just put those back into there one second. And if we can just Move those over, bring that in over to here, and 
think let's try it with this okay so this is with a glossy and um, an emission so we'll do glossy blue emission is red just so we can see the difference between it and then do the blending you can see where the light actually is there and let's move it down slightly and then you can see it coming across more so you know it, it is used pretty much the same as as the fresnel nose and as an it, it's it's literally just a mixer that's all it is um so now let's have a look at if we do facing into IOR. So as you can see where it, it's kind of blending blue depending on where the box it is. That's what the facing is. So it changes depending on which way the viewer is looking at it. So we'll just if we can just tie that roughness up a minute. Turn it up a bit more. And it doesn't affect the top for some reason. Um it, it is all to do with the with the shading of it as always. Okay. So we do have well I should say I do have another one here to check out now. Let me try this. This is going off another website, so I'm just going to try out and see what this actually looks like. Um, so material output, we've got a diffuse. We have our layer weight there. And then we have a glossy down here. We have shader there put that into there put that into there put the first all there shade it into there again let's just change the colours a minute so again you can see how the Fresnel is actually affecting it there very much so. Okay, now um, image texture. Okay, let's try. I'm just going to do just a random texture I've got somewhere here. Um, see what we've got so let's go for that brick one there open okay and that into there Just wants to see if the roughness has come through from the actual texture, if it would do anything for us. So it doesn't seem like it would. Um, so you know, I've never, I haven't actually used um, the textures that much, to be honest. So. This is kind of a new thing for me. <laughs> but yeah, um, I mean, hopefully by that, that, you know, you get the point of how that actually works and how it would adjust everything for you. Um, 
unfortunately my other test didn't want to work which I got off of the websites but yeah um, maybe yeah that may, might be a good point I'm just on a look here and maybe one of the good things that I could um, download would be a uh, the node wrangler so that could be very useful um, but yeah, uh, that's the layer weight um, node, so thanks very much for watching folks, and as always, if you'd like to uh, like, comment and subscribe, a lot more videos on the way. Thanks very much.